More than 10,000 people call police every year right here in Douglas County, afraid the people they love will hurt them. And this month, the situation has turned deadly more than once. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. In each case, there was a history of a volatile relationship. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kim Foley is at the Southwest Police Precinct in Omaha with more. Kim? Well, Jen and Craig, this month there have been three high profile domestic situations, two of them deadly, but all three of the suspects have domestic violence records. It's an alarming pattern advocates are trying to change. These are the faces of victims. Jessica Tate is recovering from a stab wound that entered her brain. The man accused of the crime, her boyfriend, Michael Jennings. Court records show police arrested Jennings twice in the last year for abuse. Jessica even filed a protection order last July, but requested its dismissal in October. Last past two weeks we've been texting. I'll show you proof that she was getting ready to say her goodbyes to him because it's not worth it. And she wasn't the only one who tried to get away. Police found Tina Holt beaten to death on May 18th. They arrested her boyfriend, Anthony Burries, for murder, just six months after his release from jail for beating her. Tina filed a protection order in December of 2012 and asked for it to be thrown out just three months later. Holly Page with Heartland Family Service says this pattern is common. And if they make promises that I'm going to stop this behavior and it's never going to happen again, oftentimes victims are going to take that and, and hold on to that hope that it's not going to happen again. On May 6, firefighters found Amanda Brown dead inside a charred tent at a homeless camp at 14th and Mason. Days later, police arrested her ex-boyfriend, Sonny DeLong, for her murder. DeLong also has domestic violence convictions. He served time for abusing another girlfriend. Last year in Douglas County, there were more than 12,000 domestic violence related 911 calls, leading to more than 1,600 arrests. In Sarpy County, more than 1,100 calls and 400 arrests. Heartland Family Service, how can I help you? Numbers Heartland says will only change when we change our approach. When we stop asking the victim, why didn't she leave, and start asking the question, why did he choose to batter, the community as a whole is going to change. Now the 2013 numbers for Sarpy County are actually down from what they were the year before. Heartland says domestic violence is a year round problem. It does not ebb and flow for the seasons with the seasons. For more information on the services they provide, you can head over to KMTV.com. Reporting live in Southwest Omaha, Kim Foley, KMTV Action 3 News.